Well, hello and good afternoon from Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona. This is Sandy. And I have been so busy. I have this huge art show this weekend. It's the biggest one I do in Arizona. And I have been working, 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 working. Besides pulling weeds, weeds, weeds. Harvesting broccolis. But for the most part, I have been doing glass. And I have been um, painting some too. So that has been really fun, but very busy. So I just thought I'd show you just a little bit of what's gonna be in my show this weekend. So if you happen to be in Yuma, Arizona this weekend, out in the foothills, there are 10 studios, 33 artists, and it's just a studio by studio. It's free to the public and it is a great time. But let's just see a little bit of what I've been doing. Now this is just a little puddle duck that I'm just beginning to paint. It only has the first layer, but it's going to be really fun. And then I'm just making all kinds of glass. And I'll show you different stages of those glasses. But these are all those ones are all going to be bowls, and so that will be really fun. I am still doing some painting. That's a watercolor. And I took a, a short class on abstract. And so this is my abstract dog. And I did use tissue paper before I painted. I glued it on there so it gives it some really fun texture. Now my funnest things I've been making lately are these crazy birds. Now these ones haven't been in the kiln yet but in a minute I'll show you some that have already come out of the kiln. But I love using little pieces of glass and I like how you can layer it and texture it and add for it to it. And so here's some of them that came out of the kiln. I've already sold two of these five and but they're for my big show um, I'm trying some silly things I think the string will probably burn away um, these are some different kinds of decals we'll see how they work and here's some other bowls that I'm making and so that that's before they were in the kiln well they're sitting on the kiln shelf actually but I haven't fired them yet and I'm just trying some experiment with a few different things and so they have them before and then here's some that are about to get slumped so you can see the stainless steel bowls and they will slump over top of those bowls now these are those people that i've shown a couple times but here they're out of the kiln and i was going to freestand them but then i decided to put them in a frame um just a little more stable and then i'm making some fun little magnets because you should always have things that are five and ten dollars at a show just to bring people in and just so that anybody can buy things. Now, I did a short on how to make a mold so you can melt your own bottles. And there's some spoons. They're like crazy quilts. And they're just spoon rests. You can put them on your stove. They are just so much fun to do. And you can see the shape of them. And they're just done in a stainless steel mold. So there it's really fun. And one of the other things I've been doing lately is called frit and freeze. And so that gets frozen and then you pop it out, put it in the kiln, and then you fire it. So you see, I have been busy. Busy fun, but busy still. And I still have more things to go into the kiln. Um, like the birds that are on the table. They go into the kiln tonight when some other stuff goes out. And then tomorrow morning, I'm slumping those other bowls. So it's just craziness. It's mayhem at my house. I hope you have a great week. And I will see you next time.